Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Drakes. Now if you're curious what a Drake actually is, it is pretty much a dragon, but it has no wings. So yeah, it's a wingless dragon. They can be found in the new Slayer dungeon that was released into the game just about two days ago. The requirements to kill a Drake is 84 Slayer and you can get assigned it as a Slayer task and there is a task only area and there's also an option to kill them off task, which you'll pretty much be seeing me do throughout this whole entire video for these 1000 kills. So as you can see I did decide to use a blowpipe for this whole entire video because I feel like this is just one of those monsters that you're better off ranging and uh, because of the special attacks that this monster does have, especially that orange fireball right there, I figured that I'd be better off just keeping my distance the whole entire video rather than using a rapier or a whip which I actually hear does alright here, you know melee isn't frowned upon, I've also seen a few people use tridents and things like that, but me personally I just went with range and this time around I went with adamant darts instead of rune. Uh, last video in the 1000 hydras I was using rune darts but it cost so much money that I figured it'd be better off just using adamant this time around. As you can see I did decide to collect every single bone from every single kill and that is how I tracked 1000 kills. Just to answer the most common question that I see, I was averaging about 65 to 70 kills per hour using this setup. Keep in mind though that is with 99 range and pretty much a max range setup minus the assembler and uh, I was also using using a range pot and rigor the whole entire time. That was mainly just to maximize my kills per hour. So those kills per hour were calculated being off task. If you are on task and you get a Drake Slayer assignment, then you're going to have like 15% more damage increased or something like that, and you should be averaging faster kills per hour. Now compared to Hydras, I got to say this area was a lot more populated, and that's mainly because when people get a Hydra Slayer task, most of the time I assume they go to the boss, unless they have a pet or something and they're just not into killing the boss. However, if you get a Drake Slayer task, there is no boss to this monster, it's just what it is, and you have to kill them here. They do have 250 HP, and if you do kill them on task, you get 268 Slayer points. So yeah, they can be assigned by the new Slayer Master, whose name is uh, Konar, and also they can be assigned by Neve and Duradel. Now I see here on the wiki that their main weakness is magic and melee. I actually don't see range anywhere on here, so that's interesting. The way I was seeing it was the blowpipe was faster than whips, and I would say it was faster than a rape as well. However, one melee weapon that I did see that was completely out DPSing my blowpipe was a scythe, and I actually did record a friend of mine using a scythe here, which I think uh, is in some point during this video, so you guys will kind of get to see the comparison of a blowpipe and a scythe, but yeah, as it goes for the normal weapons, I gotta say I think blowpipe would be faster than most of those, but even though it's a fast weapon, the Drake's defense to range attacks is 100, and their defense to magic attacks are 20. So yeah, just to conclude on that, I guess Trident would be the best in slot here, although I gotta say I really didn't see that many people use it, and I guess it's just because it costs so much money and uh, it's completely understandable why people wouldn't use it here. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about the Drake itself. You know, I gotta say the first impressions of this monster was 10 out of 10 in the eyes of just the graphics of it. You know, it really looks cool just as it is, and uh, when you kill it, seeing it explode was very unexpected. So yeah, it's really nice to see the graphics just getting much better and better with this game, especially with the monsters. You know, it's not just the area is, but they're also focusing a lot on the monsters, and I gotta say, I like the color scheme, I like everything that they did with the Drake. Now, unlike the Hydra, which is on the first floor of the Slayer dungeon, right as you go down the elevator, the Drake is a little bit different. As soon as you go down the elevator, you have to go up a set of stairs, which is all the way to the east, which I do believe I show in this video either at the beginning or at the end. But yeah, even though it is a little bit more running to get to this location compared to the Hydras, uh, it's pretty much the same amount of time banking uh, back and forth using the Draymond Staff and the Fairy Ring Code CIR as mentioned in last video. as pretty much how I went about banking after every single inventory. You can always decide to just run down the stairs and use the bank in this Slayer dungeon. Luckily, they did include a bank near this area. It's pretty much north of the Slayer Master. However, the run from this area to the bank is a decent amount of time, so I just went with the teleporting to my house method and then back and forth through the fairy ring. And I also got to use my ornament pool to recharge my HP and prayer. And the upside of that is I got to save a little bit of money on supplies. Now, speaking of supplies, I would recommend always to bring at least three to four prayer potions per inventory. That is, of course, if you're using rigor or piety or anything like that, because on average, I was bringing three to four prayer pots, and with 99 prayer and using protect from missiles, as well as rigor the whole time, all those prayer pots were draining very fast. So, you know, as I was getting anywhere from 15 to 16 kills per inventory, it would also take about four prayer potions and about one range potion, and that's usually about it. I would only have to bring food if I wasn't paying attention, and that's pretty much all the time. So, I 
was bringing on average like five to ten sharks every single inventory towards the end I was getting confident enough to just bring five But the fun fact about this monster is if you are using range or magic You know like I mentioned in the very beginning of the video keeping your distance Then you don't have to bring any food at all as long as you avoid that orange lava attack That is every so often and you just run one step away from it in any direction It will not damage you at all and if you're keeping your distance and praying range then you're not going to take any damage from that. Now they do have a melee attack which not a lot of people really do know because it doesn't hit that often but if you're using melee and you're praying range then you will actually take damage and unless you have a Ceradoman God Sword, then I would recommend you to bring at least a couple food because you're bound to mess up eventually unless you're like just you know focusing really hardcore but I know a lot of people play on multiple accounts these days and also watch things on the side so yeah I would say food is necessary plus it's pretty cheap so it doesn't really add up to be that much. Now speaking of adding things up here we are at 600 kills and as you can see the drop table for this monster is a little bit more interesting than Hydra in my opinion and uh, first thing to take notice of of course is the level 3 clue scrolls that they drop. Gotta say I was seeing one like every 100 kills so they do drop them pretty often and I did opt out to not do the level 3s during this video. It's not that I have anything against clue scrolls I actually always encourage people to do them but uh, for me personally I wanted to release this video as soon as I could so I was just focused on getting this kill video done and not doing anything else on the side. Now I want to give a huge shout out to this guy Trocky because he did recommend me to change my boots from boots of stone to boots of brimstone. He mentioned that they're only 1.7 mil in the grand exchange and they do provide the same effect that the boots of stone do, protecting you from the heat in this slayer dungeon and therefore you won't get any damage attributed to you and also they give you some range bonus. So yeah, big shout out to him. Thank you for letting me know about this. Sadly, I was already 600 kills into the video, but that's all right. Uh, it's better late than never because if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have mentioned these boots at all. So yeah, it is important to bring these if you can afford them and of course if you're using range. Now getting back to the Drake's drop table and more specifically their rare drop table which does feature quite a few different items and uh, some of those items are pretty unique so let's get into them. The first one being a Drake's claw and as mentioned before this is actually the main thing that you need to make the boots of brimstone. All you need is to get this claw and it is five times more likely to receive on Slayer task along with all the other rares and all the other monsters in this dungeon. So don't be too surprised if you don't see me receive that many rares during this video or any at all because again I was off task this whole entire time and that does have a huge effect on your RNG so just remember that always be on task in this dungeon or at least try to be. So if you are lucky enough to receive the Drake's Claw and you're curious what it's used for basically it is one of the components that is used to make the boots of brimstone so those boots that really are beneficial to use at Drake's are actually made and created from the drops of Drake's so yeah it's nice to see that. They also have another rare called the Drake's Tooth and if you are lucky enough to receive this as well and you don't sell it you just want to combine it with whatever it's supposed to be used for then you have to buy yourself a pair of holy sandals and combine the two pieces and you will receive devout boots and I hope I'm pronouncing that right it requires level 60 prayer and it gives the best prayer bonus in the game of all the boots and the last two rares that are featured on the Drake's drop table are under the weapon category as dragon knife and dragon throwing axe now you can get as a quantity 141 to 190 dragon knives and 104 to 194 dragon throwing axes. I don't know how they came up with those numbers, but that's pretty interesting. Now, despite the Drake having four separate rares that we could have gotten throughout this whole entire 1000 video, unfortunately, we did not receive any at all, which you know what? That's all right, because in my Hydra video, that was all done off task, and we did receive two out of three of the rares there. So I really can't complain too much, you know, uh, as it goes for the Drakes, just better luck next time. I guess eventually we'll get them as a Slayer task, and we might be able to pull off these rares eventually, but as it goes for this video, not this time. And at long last, here we are with the bank tab of 1,000 kills. Now, just looking at the cash stack, you know, I think it's uh, up to you guys if you want to pick up the coins that Drake's drop, but overall 117k and 1,000 kills, I'm not too sure if it was worth picking up. Also, a very low amount of seeds compared to the herbs, and, uh, you know, just in general, a decent amount of runes and a few alkables. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see the price check. We have pretty much every single item in here, minus two gems, and everything comes out to be 12 12.4 mil. I mean, I'm not too sure how to feel about this because I feel like this was more than the Hydra's was. So, you know, good on that. Um, 12.4 mil, that's how it looks right now. But of course, we don't know what the real price of the bones are. You know, the bones are shown as 5k and I can assure you they are certainly not worth 5k at all. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and fast forward these clips. Just kind of show you guys uh, that, you know, the Drake bones did not sell for even 2.2k. So that was very upsetting and they didn't even sell for 18 I'm not too sure what
what these bones are going to stabilize at. You know, I feel like not enough people are killing drakes and actually collecting the bones. You know, most people here leave a lot of the drops on the ground. I'd say it's really rare to see anyone ever pick up the bones here, and even most people don't even pick up the normal drops. So yeah, I mean, I made sure not to pick up anyone else's drops during this video, of course. But yeah, maybe my expectations were just a little bit too high. At the end of the day, we did end up selling the bones for 1700 each, and we did receive 8.4 mil and 1,000 kills of drakes. Now, if you subtract the 19,000 Zora scales and 5,000 darts that I used during this video, as well as all the potions, then obviously the money, the profit, you know, it's not really there. Uh, this was more so just to kind of show you guys the drops in general. And with 1,000 kills showcased, I think that I accomplished that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the drops in the comment section below. I know that a lot of you guys weren't really that happy with the results of the normal Hydras, and I gotta say, I wasn't either. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the awesome graphics on this Drake will make up for the, uh, I guess you could say less awesome drop table, but at the end of the day, it's a really cool monster, really cool Slayer area, and a really cool update, and who knows, everything is subject to change in the future, they may look at the drop tables of these monsters one day, and if they ever do that, well, I guess we gotta do it all over. So with all that being said, I'm gonna see you guys in exactly 24 hours from this very minute with a brand new video, and until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.